Hi everyone, beautiful afternoon on Sky. Melanie and Sarah here from Sky for All. We're going for a little walk in Glenbrittle Forest and hopefully the track will be good for Sarah's row later. Here's a look at the track. So hopefully that is all good with these wheels we've got here. Let's see how far we can go. We'll talk to you all later. Okay, we've just come about 200 metres up the track from the car. The view is stunning. Look at those coolings today. Absolutely amazing. So Sarah, how was it? Stones were slightly larger than I like, but it wasn't impossible. So getting over it with the wheels was all right. Just a few shoves. Yeah, yeah. just a bit more effort than the smaller stones but, but not too steep up here no no considering i had plenty of cake to keep you going brilliant but peeps i've got to show you something sarah has a shoe wardrobe comprising of doc martins of many shapes sizes colors and descriptions but today she is wearing the best shoe sock combo and it's living proof you don't need mountaineering equipment to walk on any of our walks look at these woohoo <laughs> I think we best get back walking, don't you? <laughs> so we've been going for about 25 minutes now and the track's lovely. There it is behind me. Uh, it's evened out a bit, a few less bumps for Sarah. How are you getting on, Sarah? A bit tired today, but that's the first time I've been for a walk for a while. So it's going to take me a while to get back into it. <laughs> <laughs> but the track's a bit easier now, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. It's much easier now. Le less of the big stones to stop your wheels. Yeah. <laughs> so we need more practice. <laughs> we do. <laughs> and more cake? Always more cake. Brilliant. Right, we'll see you all in a bit. And something to match Sarah's purple shoes and socks. Ooh, what's that? There's some purple pom-poms. Have a look quick. <laughs> Over here, guys. It's late September, but we've still got little purple pom-pom plants out. I have no idea what they're called, but they're lining this trackway all the way down both edges at the edge of the forest. And there's the purple heather. Look, the forest is kind of coordinated with me. There we go. Forest to match Sarah. It's amazing what you can spot on your little walks out. We need to bring a nature book with us next time, you know. So we're back at the start. We've been out for about an hour. We've walked really, really slowly. Let's say one, two miles an hour at most, but it's been really, really nice. And this track is actually really usable. So we're at the start of the Glenbrittle Forest, right at the top of Glenbrittle, before you even get anywhere near the fairy pool. So lovely and accessible and a little bit of parking at the entrance. And reasonably quiet. Yeah, we've only seen two cyclists and two people walking some dogs. Um, we've managed it with Sarah on her rollator. Um, you can do it with walking sticks, wheelchairs, mobility scooters. Kids could probably have a skateboard, one of yeah. them little electric scooter things. Um, we found it highly accessible actually. It's been tricky in places, a few small rocks under the wheels, but generally... Yeah, not a bad one. Nice walk out and the view guys, I mean... Who doesn't love that view? <laughs> so we'll be writing this up and putting it on our website, skyforall.co.uk. Um, see you all on the other side. See where we go next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>